Hey, what is up guys? John from Magic Tech Review. So today we're going to take a look at how to get rid of Android viruses off your phone, malware, how to get your phone running, how to clean your cache, how to just make your phone basically run smooth like when you first got your phone. All right, so go ahead and uh, subscribe to become part of the Magic Tech Review family. Go ahead and leave that like if you enjoy my content and let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so I'm here to tell you guys that most of these things you see on your phone, you can just literally back out of. You don't have to worry about them actually doing any type of uh, any type of stuff to your phone. But what you want to do, uh, normally when you're on your phone and you're browsing and everything like that, what you want to do is you want to actually clear out uh, what you're doing. So you can see how I have uh, plenty of plenty of different tabs here. So what you want to do is you want to actually clear out your tabs because there's so many tabs running at the same time. You have 59 tabs. Uh, what you want to do is actually close all your tabs. So once you're done browsing, and also it's a good thing, you know, good thing just in case so somebody can't come behind you, open up your browser, and then, you know, all of a sudden see all the tabs you've been messing with or whatever. Not that, you know, I mean, you might not even have somebody that's coming behind you, but it's always a good, good thing to do anyways. So either way, uh, also, if you want to search uh, a website and you don't want anybody to know, you know what I'm saying, uh, I, just, for what reason, I don't know, but if, if you want to, you can go to incognito tab, you know what I'm saying, and just type away and type away at what you want, and it says right here, pages you view in incognito tabs won't stick around in your browser history, cookie store, or search history after you close all your incognito tabs, any files you download, or bookmarks will be create create will be kept. However, you are not invisible. Going incognito doesn't hide your browsing from your employer, your internet service provider, or the websites you visit. So there you go guys. If you wanna, you know, go ahead and do your dirt or whatever you want to do, go on to incognito and then uh, once you go away from incognito, then you're uh, good to go there. So uh, another thing guys is that in gals is that you can just go ahead and delete all the applications that are you know, cleaners, or you know, this and that, and the third, battery savers, and cleaners, and blah, 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 it's so sickening to see all these different types of things, so I'm gonna put in, uh, you know, I'm just gonna put in, like, virus, and let's see what pops up, like, virus, virus removal for Android, so all these things right here, guys, are all scams, to be honest, there's nothing, there's nothing, Android is pretty much perfectly safe if you just do your normal stuff like you do all this clean master antivirus defender all this stuff is just going to put different ads on your thing and it's just going to make your phone even slower than it already is uh so i wouldn't suggest any of these guys the only one that i would suggest and this is not paid or sponsored or anything i've been using this program since 2011 guys and you pretty much have seen it probably if you've watched my if you watch my stuff but Android Assistant is pretty much my go-to one that I always do. It's so small of a program that it's ridiculous. And I've been using them for 2000, since 2011. And right here, Android Assistant, one megabyte. It's only literally only one megabyte, guys. And what it does, it kind of monitors your phone, you know what I'm saying? Now, yes, there's a little ad. It's placed right there. It's a little, little, little tiny ad, and you can actually see where the ad is at. It's not like all over the place playing videos and stuff you can't stop and all that. It's just one little banner ad, uh, you know, because obviously they deserve to get paid. Just as, as uh, us creators on YouTube, we deserve to get paid. So, you know, uh, on YouTube, it shows a little banner ad or whatever here in the air or, you know, shows an ad on the side or whatever. So I don't mind that. All right. That's 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 OK. Um, but in this program, though, very powerful program for only one megabyte. OK, it shows you your shows you your CPU info, your RAM info, and your battery info, see if it's getting too hot, it shows you your ROM info, as in how much you have left, and then your internal storage as well, so RAM info right there, pretty cool, pretty cool, uh, you can do a quick boost if you'd like, don't need to clear task, okay, I just turned on the phone, uh, that's, that's the only thing that sucks is that I just turned on this phone, so it's like, things are not going to be like, you know, whatever but this one right here system player is 
awesome. Okay, I don't have any cash. Uh, you can go to you can go to like oh you don't need to click on that. But empty folder right there, empty folder or APK files you don't want, thumbnail cache files you don't want. It's all different types of stuff, guys. Here and sorry, I'm clicking like sporadically. Uh, big files, audio files, media files, images. So all types of stuff you can actually just click on and it'll show you what it is before you down, uh, delete it. So pretty cool there and then you just hit clean and it will clean for you. Alrighty. Okay. Sorry, I screwed up the phone so it's like a little, a little funky. But Alright, so here's all your processes that are running on your phone. Uh, you know what I'm saying, whether you want them or not, this is what's showing you, it's showing you what's running on your phone. So, I do have different things that are running on my phone that I do not want to be running right now. Uh, let me see your touchpad keyboard. Don't want you to uninstall you, so, boom. It's easy, easy as that, guys. Oh, uninstall unsuccessful. Yeah, that's right, because it won't, it won't let you uninstall from this phone. But if your phone has better access than this phone, because sometimes uh, these phones, they don't have act full access to the phone, to the files or whatever, and it's something that you can't uninstall, then that's what happens. Uh, so you got your weather, weather thing right here. I don't need the weather, to be honest. If you disable that, so disable that. All right, boom. There you go. See, now your processes are going down. Deezer. Disable Deezer. Alright. That's something that comes with Cricut. So, there you go. And then you can just keep going and seeing what's taking your uh, memory, guys. So, right here. This is a pretty cool thing. Pokemon Go is running, apparently. Let's see what else here. Alright. So, we can go over to Tools. And Tools is a very good option as well. So, I told you guys, all those cleaner apps and fast battery charges and all this other stuff kills your phone even more. So, don't install them. But if you do want to install them and you want to batch uninstall, look at this, guys. This is awesome. So, what you can do is you can actually uninstall things that you don't need and it'll actually get rid of them, like, really, really fast. So, let's say you can just, like, you know, you can literally just go... There's some things that I won't let you uninstall, but, uh, you know, like I said, I didn't want group me, Gusher, Hangouts, Hangouts, Dialer, and you can literally just uninstall all of it, so this is really cool. So, you download this one, one megabyte, this is mobile services, I see this all the time for some reason, and I don't trust it. I don't think mobile services is something you actually need on the phone, so, scare your friends joke, that's pretty funny. Uh... So yeah guys, zombie watch, that is. So, alright, so let me show you guys real quick, let me let me get some of this stuff off my phone, let me show you how to uninstall it, so this is what you're gonna do guys, to uninstall all this, all these things, and it's, it's crazy because people don't understand, like, you know, understand what's going on or whatever, and that's how they get in trouble, that's how they get messed up, because they just don't understand what's going on in their phone, so that's why there's people like me, that try to help you guys out. So zombie watch. Uh let's see what else I don't want. Uh, all this other stuff I kinda use sim I don't really use anymore. Um yeah. Okay, so we're gonna uninstall. And then watch, it's just gonna literally go boom, uninstall, boom. Look how fast that was guys so I literally uninstalled all those programs all at once man that's like my phone is now like refreshed because I just got uninstalled all that stuff and now you can also batch install <clears throat> so you can literally install I don't think I have anything here though no files yet so if you had a whole bunch of files on your phone and you wanted to our apps on your phone you want to install them then you can do that 
backup and restore. Have to SD. I don't really use that. Uh, startup manager. So this you can actually pick what you want your phone to not start up with. So select items to kill on startup. So let's, let's go for Facebook. Let's go for Facebook. All right. Let's go for Facebook. Cool. Bam. Done. All right. <clears throat> Battery usage. And this will just take you to the. Oh no, this actually take you. Oh yeah, yeah, this takes you to the. And then it'll show you what actually took most of the battery. But I haven't had my phone on for long. I just, I just booted it up. It does give you a file manager right here inside the app. That's pretty cool. File manager are always good to have. And it shows us one little pervasive app right there, guys. So I wouldn't really mind too much about that. Uh, like I said, so you got your cache clear. So we haven't really done anything, so it's not really gonna be anything to clear right now. Uh, system clear. That's that one from earlier. Permissions, remove ads. Remove ads, you can buy this program for actually for a dollar, which I should have done a long time ago, but I'm paying, I'm using with the ads, so the ads pay the, the uh, developer as well. Uh, let's see here, permissions. So this is your permissions tab right here, and it shows you all the permissions that dif these different uh, things that you have downloaded asks of you. And then system info is a good one as well, and it shows you about the phone that you're using. This is the ZTE Blade X Max, so it actually shows you your uh, resolutions, what it is, what phone it is, the model, octa-core, RAM 1.8, 22 of uh, you know supported storage it's all that stuff guys so hopefully you guys uh, learned something today and yeah so guys if you haven't leave a like on the video of course subscribe to become part of the magic technique family and i will see you guys in the next one peace out thanks for watching